Before I offer the final blessing, I would like for Todd to come over and join me. On the behalf of the people of the Diocese of Missouri, I offer my sincerest and most profound thanks for your ministry here with the people of grace. As you prepare to take your leave of them, know that you go with the prayers, the well wishes, and hopes for a bright and joyous future as you enter the land of retirement. <laughs> retirement for Episcopal clergy usually means that you find lots of work to do even though you're retired. <laughs> but my prayer for you is that you will take some time for the renewal and resting of your soul before you jump into something new. And I'm going to invite the congregation to come up and join me, find a spot, lay a hand, and we will pray for him as he prepares to take his leave. So come on down. <laughs> And Jenny will also be leaving us at the end of August to enjoy grandparenthood, <laughs> among other things. So I invite you to lay a hand on her as we give thanks for her ministry here at Grace as well. She has been a wonderful and faithful companion along the way, and we, I am sure all of you, will miss her pastoral presence and the many gifts that she has shared over the years. So we are grateful for your ministry as well. Let us pray. If you, if you can't touch Todd or Ginny, feel free to touch somebody in front of you so that the, 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 the network will keep going. <laughs> let this, as Canon Whitney said, let the chain not be unbroken. Let us pray. Gracious, loving, and holy God, you call us each to ministry in your name. Grant that Todd and Ginny, as they prepare for a new journey, a new adventure, that they may be surrounded and steeped in your Holy Spirit, that in the new paths that they may forge, in the new adventures that they may venture, in the new places of ministry that you will call them, that they may be surrounded and infused by your Holy Spirit, the Advocate, giving them all things necessary for the work ahead of them, we also give you thanks for the many gifts that they have shared with this community of grace, giving thanks for the many lives that they have shaped, the many people who have called and come to the love of Christ Jesus through them. May we, like them, venture on new highways, walk on new paths, and discover new ways of sharing the good news of Christ Jesus our Lord. And may God's blessing, may God's grace, may God's peace rest upon them both, now and always. Amen. Amen. Stay right, stay where you are. <laughs> Life is short, and you do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those whom you love or those who walk this way with us. So be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and may the divine mystery that is beyond our ability to fully know be your companion along every way. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the grace of Christ the Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, upon you, this day, and forevermore. Amen. Amen.